A step forward for genetic science and the birth of a brand new healthy baby boy. Connor Levy is the first ever test tube baby from an embryo that had been screened for genetic defects. This new technique, dubbed next generation sequencing, uses computer software to search for chromosome abnormalities and specific gene defects before an embryo is implanted. The advantage here, according to scientists, is that there is a higher chance of producing a viable pregnancy using this technology. Currently, in vitro fertilization is a risky procedure with only 30% of the fertilized embryos resulting in pregnancy after implantation. While the reason for the high rate of failure is still unclear, scientists believe genetic defects associated with the procedure may be to blame, meaning genetic screening could help solve the problem. This new option is said to be a lot cheaper. Current screening methods add nearly $3,000 on top of an already expensive IVF procedure. Scientists think this new method could cut costs in half. The study's lead scientist said they can look at all 24 types of chromosomes and get a result just a day after. Because this new technique is cheaper and could improve success rates of IVF, some like The Telegraph are predicting genetic sequencing to be the new norm. Not much else is known about baby Connor, who was born just a few weeks ago. A large-scale trial of the technology has been planned in the UK later this year. If it's successful, it's possible the new screening process could be available through private clinics in 18 months. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.